What's up? So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to manage multiple offers on your real estate listing in Airtable. So I'm going to show you a really simple database and a really simple way to manage this and even to maybe present it to a seller of a home. So if you're interested in that, stick around. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. And what we do is we help real estate agents and transaction coordinators optimize their information systems. So this can mean stuff like Airtable, for asset management, for property management, for transaction management, as well as deal flow management and some reporting, uh, as well as Asana and Slack for communication and project management. So if you're interested in any services, you can check out the link in the description but, and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right in the video now. So as you can see here, we are in a real estate listings manager. And this is just a nice view that Airtable can give us to look at like it's called a gallery view. So this could even be something that like you embed on your website, but these are all of your listings is what this shows you. So if you wanted to embed it, you could there, but if we just want to see this, we can see like on here, there's a gallery view with all of these, with all of these listings. So if we come back here to the listings table, what we're really missing in here is just one more table for the offers. So you see between one company, one agent, one listing, there's a lot of different relationships there. So between one company and multiple agents, uh, it's that type of a relationship where there's one company and there's many agents. So those go in different tables. Between agents and listings, we can come over here and see that one agent might have multiple listings, but one listing only ever has one agent. Uh, the, usually it's like the seller agent and the buyer agent in the transaction. Uh, but you already know that so now what we have is we have listings and we have uh, offers so for one listing it might have multiple offers and that's the scenario that we're in right now is we want to know how to manage multiple offers sometimes there's only one offer sometimes there's multiple usually as, as I've been hearing recently there's sometimes been multiple offers so in here we would add another table in here and these would be offers and essentially what I would come in here and do is just delete all these like stock fields that don't ever do much for me. Uh, but what you would come in here is you would build out everything you need to know about an offer. So like, what are the contingencies? What are, like, what is the, um, what is the offer? So if you wanted to do like a price in here or like an amount, you could do the, um, just the offer, um, as well as any pertinent information about the buyer. Uh, but whatever contingencies, whatever you need to know about the offer that is relevant to them, to the seller making a decision. That's what you, you want to keep adding fields in here the more you need. Uh, and then what you can do is you can add a linked record field. So you can add a link, a linked record field that would link to the listings. And this you have to turn that off because you won't be list linking to multiple listings and then you can create this field. Now we don't need any lookup fields so you can just press skip here but now what you can do is if you want to do a form here you can create a form where this would be offer form. So now once you create that you'll have all of this on here so maybe this is buyer name and that would actually wouldn't be a great one. Um, so maybe we'll take this one out of here just for now, but we all we need really con contingencies, offers, and the listing. And maybe we'll make some of this required uh, and just do it like that. So this is our really easy form that we can have our, uh, you can add more fields in here and have your prospective buyer fill this out if you would like. And then what will happen is it will come in here to this offers table. So if I fill out this form a couple times, I'll show you what this would look like. So none, and we'll say 400,000, and then we'll pick the listing. So this one was this one in Brooklyn right here, that one, and then we'll just go ahead and reload the form again, do another one. Uh, so we'll choose this one this time. And now we'll say none besides pizza at closing and then 
500,000. So now we can come in here and we can see that there's been two offers. Uh, these would be these would be deleted, and you can see for 25 for Ick Place and 822 Fennel Road, there's been offers. Uh, but now, what happens if we get multiple offers? So if we get multiple offers, what we can do is we can come in here and just fill out the form again so we can see that. So if we had one on the 822 Fennel Road, contingencies were, we'll just say none again, just to make this a little bit less interesting, and then submit that offer there. So now if we come in here, we can see there's been two offers on this, and if you wanted to present this to a buyer to show them like these side by side, you would come down here and I would create just a duplicatable, duplicatable view of these. But these would be multiple offer view. And what you want to do here is you want to filter this down to just those offers. So where the listing contains until you filter this down to just those two offers. So now what you can do is you can come in here and hide everything that is like that you don't want to be showing the seller when they're considering these offers. So maybe if you had any personal information about the buyer, you could hide that from here and you could keep it pretty compliant with any anything you want to not be sharing or sharing in here. So now what you do if you're like with your buyer or if you're with your seller and you want to share them a view, so let's go ahead and hide contingencies. Maybe this is like a personal field that you don't want to share and you just want to share the offer numbers. Uh, so what you want to do now is you want to create a shareable link and then you'll preview this. So you can preview this link um, and you can essentially just send this to the seller so they can review these multiple offers. And what this will give you is say you had those personal information fields in here. If you try to open those up, you can't see them. So like if I hide fields here, you can only see these two fields other than this primary field. Um, but here we can see there's one hidden field. So when you do these uh, shared view links, you can hide any like pertinent information uh, to you, but you maybe don't want the seller to see it. So that's one way of viewing multiple offers in a real estate listing or real estate transaction, not quite to the transaction yet. Uh, but that's how you would do this is set it up like that and then create a view that you would share um, with a seller of a house. So I hope this was really helpful and I hope this gets you the solution you need if you're having multiple offers on multiple properties. You can just keep duplicating this view. Uh, so I would just create one view that uh, hides everything that you want and that filters the correct way and maybe even sorts by the offer amount if you want. Um, nine to one here. Uh, so it sorts that way and everything and then you, what you can do is just duplicate this view and then now say we have it on the other one. So if we take off this filter and add it for 25, uh, we can see if there were multiple offers on that first one in the listing, then we would see all of those offers here. And then you can create another shared view just to 25 for X place or whatever that says. So that's the simple way to make multiple offers for your real estate listings and present them to sellers um, if you would like to. So I hope this was really helpful. And if you're curious about how to get started using Airtable, how to maybe get started using one of these templates or just using it in your business, then you can check out this video in the end screen right here. It'll walk you through that step by step. So using Airtable, just really getting started using it in your business. So I hope you go check that video on the end screen out right there. And without further ado, if you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.